yo, yo, yo. It's D. Arthur in the building. I'm talking to you guys today about when you go on semen retention, why getting turned down while you're on retention isn't necessarily a bad thing. And why you can really have your way with <laughs> with any any type of woman uh, when you when you go on retention. And I'll give you a secret on what you can do to make her actually like you and get her to submit. See, well, the thing is, when you get when you go on retention and um, you've been retaining for a little bit, and let's say you shoot your shot. Maybe there was a girl that you were trying to shoot your shot with and it and it didn't go anywhere or she kind of said maybe later or she just wasn't too she wasn't in it. When you go on when you go on semen retention, you start realizing that who's the real prize? Who's the real prize? Cuz the thing is like on what what society tells us is to treat her like she's to treat her like she's your everything. To treat her like she's your uh, in, entire world. And if you keep doing, if you have this mentality, then you're always gonna be second to none. You're gonna finish last. Apparently, nice guys finish last. And um, when you go on retention, your carefreeness seems to be at a minimal. At, at a very minimal state, you you tend to care less, and the less you care, and the more let's say the other person cares, the more you win because the more she can sense that you care, then she can do whatever she can do whatever you want. She can do whatever she wants because it seems that you care, and she can manipulate your emotions. But the less you care, and the thing is. The way to care less is to do more. Is to is to be happier by yourself more. Uh, doing things that actually make you happy by yourself tend to make you a little bit carefreeness because you're actually enjoying your existence. See, a lot of people don't en enjoy their existence. They have to have some sort of external source. Um, some external source to to make them happier. They they use alk lust. They put a woman in front of before their purpose. They do other things to make themselves feel happier because they don't have that much going on. And the more you do, um, the more she'll submit to you regardless. The thing is, it's all about who cares the least, and it's it's all about who is giving more of a who 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 is giving more of a of a of a carefree vibe. Cause that's the thing. Like you got to get busy. Um, if you post on let's say your IG, she's gonna become a little bit more attracted to you if you're doing things that are very adventurous and let's say actually make you a little bit happier because you don't have her as the center of your mind the thing is you fall into a trap where you get her you get very one one nightist and you think she's the only one for you and then when she senses that like i said she has time to manipulate uh your emotions and don't 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 be naive and think that your girl wouldn't do that that can happen at any time. You just have to be very, um, you have to realize that at any time that your your emotions can get manipulated no matter what you do, no matter who you are. Some, some people like LeBron James, he can get manipulated even though he is LeBron James. That's just the way of the, um, that's the ch way of the game. So, uh, yeah, like I said, getting rejected doesn't seem to be that much of a of a thing where you're where it matters that much because if you're on retention 
you're obviously building something a little bit you're actually you're obviously some a, a, a bit different than everybody else and if she let's say rejects you you can use your 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 retention and your your self improvement and your purpose and hitting the gym and uh, meditating and doing something that you're actually proud of and building something and let's say disciplining yourself because usually all of those things are the ones are usually the things that actually give you fulfillment like a uh, long term gratification and when you're on retention it really helps you become less needy and the less needy you are the more attractive she'll be to you and that really goes in the more chances you take see the guy the thing is a, a lot of guys don't take chances because they're too dependent on what how she'll react but the guy who actually takes the chances with her is usually the one who, who gets her because like i said the less you care and the more you really don't give up uh, you don't really care about her reaction the more she'll be she'll she'll submit to you and also like yeah having things going on in your life uh really help help you out with all this because i have people be complaining about she wants she wants she wants this she wants me to be six five and all this and things like that but the thing is you have to have some sort of thing about you where she's drawn to see women and men are attracted in two completely different ways and if you can use this and you utilize it to your advantage then you'll win in the game of attraction and you'll win in the game of life because a man who has something going on and who has purpose and who knows how to who also has game and can become very non-needy and charismatic while he's doing it is usually the guy who wins so be just become that guy just become that guy you, you got to put in some work you got to put in some more effort because the more effort that you put i mean the less effort that you put the more she'll have to um she'll have to have um because the thing is if you care less she will care more so utilize utilize your advantage because at the at the end of the day the men were supposed to be the prize that was what it was originally intended but i mean because of society things like feminism and all these other things and why and how guys are very needy and very like beta and not really utilizing their capabilities to the most society looks down on men who try to become masculine and this is the kind of the result that you get. So be different than the rest. Be different than the rest. And these times, like, if you're not doing something that makes you stand out, you're really gonna look. You're, you're really gonna get looked across, uh, looked over, overlooked, basically, because there's just too many guys who are always having some sort of beta male behavior. So do not be like the rest. Make yourself stand out. Do something a little bit different to make yourself stand out and you'll you'll definitely have more choosing signals and you'll become happier like i said going on retention really just helps you become who you really want to be you start getting insight from the most high you start you start having a purposeful existence you stop going through the motion and start living every day with some sort of intention. And I mean, if you if you if you live an intentional life, obviously because of the law of cause and effect, you're gonna have an you're gonna have some sort of end product, no matter what you've been doing. So I mean, if you haven't been really utilizing yourself or maximizing your looks, your efforts, your energy, your retention, I mean, things are gonna be a lot a little bit harder for you. People are gonna overlook you a, a little bit more because. You're not, become, you're not carrying out your full potential. And like I said, getting rejected kind of helps you realize that because now your ego isn't that high. Once you, once your ego gets shot, you start realizing that there has to be a lot more that you have to do to get the type of results that you want. So that makes that should make you happy. Um, so do anything in your power to make sure you become the best version so you can attract the very quality top percent 
one that uh, mirrors you. Like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you tomorrow. Peace.